Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this widow that is listening to me. She and any other widow that might be across the globe listening. Many have been broken. Many cannot explain where they are, the situation they found themselves. Many have found themselves from grace to grass. Many are crying over what ought to have been theirs that have been taken away from them. Many cannot explain the situation because of the pain and the sudden loss of their husbands. But Father, you are the husband of the widow. You have promised that whenever a widow comes to you and cries to you, that you yourself would take it upon yourself to answer. And so, Lord, this is the confidence that we have in you, bringing these widows across the globe, wherever they are at this point, as they hear the sound of my voice, the Lord, you lift them up. Father, we pray that you would comfort them those that have not been able to be comforted as a result of the way the demise happened. We ask you, Holy Spirit, the Comforter, that you will comfort them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask you that you illuminate them with your light and cover them in your peace. Father, we pray that you will provide for them in every need, both physical, emotional, financial and otherwise. Lord God, we pray for those that are questioning and doubting whether you are in existence. Those that have wondered whether your promise towards them is yea or not. Father, in the name of Jesus, let them have a new encounter with you. We ask that God, the ones that are suffering as a result of the pain the children are giving unto them because they lost their husbands. We ask by the Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, you bring back that child home in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you told us in Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 18 that God, you care for us as widows and the fatherless. We ask you that Lord, you will help because your word says in Ephesians chapter 13 verse 5 that you will never leave them nor forsake them. We pray for you, Lord God, you give them strength in the face of adversity each day, that they would find their hope and joy in you. Help them to trust your goodness and to find comfort in your presence. Oh Lord God, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that the wisdom to become fathers at the same time as mothers will rest upon them. Oh Lord God, we pray for those that are going through health challenges. By the Father's in the name of Jesus, we pray concerning using your scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20 that Lord God whatever sickness it is that your healing Lord God that you will give it unto them in the name of Jesus those that are falling ill as a result of carelessness Lord God you said in your word that even the lawful captives shall be set free and therefore Lord look from the banisters of heaven that you give them grace to be able to prioritize their physical health in the name of Jesus give them wisdom to exercise give them the wisdom to eat well and not remain in grieving in the mighty name of Jesus Lord those that have been using energy just so to forget the pain of their husband and have made themselves so preoccupied with activities we ask Lord God that today you give them rest father we ask you by the fathers in the name of Jesus those that are going through pains Lord God Almighty because of unforgiveness as it's written in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 Lord give them grace give them grace to forgive according to the scripture let your healing come for them Lord your word says forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us give them an insight to the illumination of understanding of this scripture and the line in the name of Jesus they will not fall ill as a result of unforgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ give them the grace to know that they would not hold it is better for them not 
to hold on to bitterness in the mighty name of Jesus that it is better for them not to hold to resentment because it can turn to poison upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus as many Lord God Almighty that have been wounded by family members that have been wounded by friends and relatives we ask that God the blood of Jesus will rest upon them and teach them how to forgive in the name of Jesus for those that are going through the health of their children the children are challenged father you are the god that did it for the widow that even asked for help from a man that did not know you lord because of our persistence lord god you gave our respite i pray in the name of jesus that any widow's child that is going through infirmities by the power that's in the name of the resurrected king jesus christ we ask you in the name of jesus that this child receive healing you did it for the widow of nain lord god when it looked like she has lost everything she has lost her husband she has lost a child lord you went there and raised that child and so we decree and declare every widow's child that is going through sickness or disease let your resting healing power come upon them in the name of jesus heal them physically heal them mentally heal them lord god in their emotions in the mighty name of jesus christ no longer would the widows go head bowed we declare lord god as many that are desirous of remarriage lord god that they are boas just like you gave rules you will give it to them in the name of jesus some went through marriages that were painful father let this next wedding or marry lord god be a sucker let it be lord god a compensation for them in the name of jesus lord god those that married up they lost their husbands without a child and are looking forward for remarriage to have children in the mighty name of jesus i send forth your word i say lord you lead them direct them preserve them give them discernment and wisdom that as the man comes they will recognize in the name of jesus teach them to stay strategically where they're supposed to be they will not go about wandering as sheep without a shepherd in the mighty name of jesus we decree and declare that from now henceforth those that do not know you let them have an encounter and the revelation knowledge of who you are so that your healing will be upon them and it will be permanent father we worship you we give you all the glory we thank you lord god for your resurrection power that has given them a new chance to be joyful in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord for answering our prayers in jesus name we have prayed amen i implore you with the love of god to like share and subscribe to our channel god bless you